Known as the business end of the football season, April and May are when trophies and titles are up for grabs as spring in Europe transitions to summer. In this calendar year, Ramadan begins at the end of March. Muslim adults who are in good health fast from sunrise to sunset during the holy month of Ramadan. For athletes who treat their bodies like elite athletes, it is a change from the everyday routine. Nevertheless, they meet the challenge head on. Additionally, it is beneficial for them to have the backing and inspiration of their teams and supporters. Muslims make up about one third of the world's population. That some of the best football players in the world are also is not surprising. In Egypt, as well as in Liverpool, his adopted city, Mohamed Salah is a sporting hero both on and off the field. Some of the biggest trophies in the world have been won by Paul Pogba, Karim Benzema, and others. At Manchester City, Riyad Mahrez is on pace to win more hardware. Over the past 10 years, all of these legendary names have excelled. They know exactly what modifications to make to their daily routine during Ramadan. Aspatar, a leading global specialty hospital for orthopedics and sports medicine, published an article on this subject. In order to help them adjust to the Ramadan-related lifestyle changes, athletes, coaches, and authorities are informed about the strategies that can be used. Diet is perhaps the most obvious. Athletes should consume three substantial meals per day, but during a fasting month, this is likely to change. Hydration requirements will also change. With the demanding schedule associated with the top football leagues around the world, a healthy sleep pattern is also essential for athletes to aid in recovery. According to epidemiologist Abdulaziz Farouk, who spoke with Football Now, athletes who identify as Muslim said that their endurance is decreased in 80% of cases. 70% reported having trouble concentrating. Among those surveyed, 60% thought their sleep would get worse. By being more nimble with the training schedules of individual players, football managers and their coaching staffs can overcome these difficulties. The players' training load, recovery, mood, and motivation should all be closely watched by coaches. Additionally, they are instructed to keep an eye out for any significant departure from pre-Ramadan levels and to step in and offer assistance as needed. Football leagues like the Qatar Sports League have recently contributed as well. Outside of Ramadan, practice and competition typically get underway at 6.30. During the holy month, they are postponed until after sunset to give the athletes time to refuel before taking the field. The Premier League, the most well-known league in the world, has also started to adapt. In April 2021, history was made. Muslim players' Ramadan fast-breaking was permitted during a break-in play between Leicester and Crystal Palace. That's what makes football so wonderful, tweeted Wesley Fofana of Leicester, following the game. Sufyan Zia, a semi-pro football player and devout Muslim, said in an interview with Football Now that it was an instance that would inspire players like him. It's a really good feeling because Muslim players occasionally struggle to play quickly, particularly in professional games. Clubs should definitely speak with officials or leagues to allow a couple of minutes in a game because it's not going to harm anyone, just having a date or two and getting a drink. The biggest football matches in the last 10 years have frequently occurred during the fasting month. These events include the Olympics in 2012, various World Cup events in 2014 and 2018 as well as the 2016 European Championships. Even so, some athletes were still successful enough to excel in their field. Prior to the 2018 Champions League final, Sadio Mane scored the equalizer against Real Madrid while fasting. Despite suffering an injury in that game, Mohamed Salah was able to recover enough to represent Egypt at the World Cup in Russia. Where, during the group stage, he scored twice for Egypt. Paul Pogba, the World Cup champion, and Riyad Mahrez, the national soccer player of Algeria, have visited Mecca. During the 2014 World Cup match against Germany, Rice Maboli, a member of Mahrez's international team, broke his fast with water and dates at halftime. Football at the grassroots level is also doing its part to motivate players to keep up with their favorite sport during Ramadan. FIFA by EA Sports, one of the most popular video games in the world, has produced an advertisement to promote South Asian and Muslim football players. The Midnight Ramadan League, which was established to assist those who find it difficult to play during their fast during Ramadan, is introduced in the FIFA 21 commercial. Abate Hussain, the game's developer, stated to Football Now. On Fridays and Saturdays during the four weeks of Ramadan, a seven-a-side football tournament is held. It was designed with the intention of reaching people who were observing Ramadan and fasting. After completing their hours of fasting, they could break their fast, offer their prayers, engage in some physical activity, and play a game of football. Additionally, anyone can attend. People building has always been a major function of football. 
and perhaps during this holy month, it can play a bigger part in promoting Muslim footballers' success at both the professional and local levels of the game.